Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of Manifest Season 2 Episode 7. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you're a family member, you're one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. So we starting off with TJ. He's packing for his trip to Jamaica. His mom was trying to make sure he got everything. Fresh pack of underwear, some bug spray, get you some granola bars because you know you don't have money like that to be going out to eat every day. And these granola bars is gonna keep you nice and full. You know this is a good meal all into one. The protein bar, granola bar, whatever it was. This is what you got to eat right quick. I was like, I was like, okay, that's cool. We got to see a little clip of you know the, um, um, TJ's mama. Now, over at Michaela's place, she didn't let Zeke's ex-wife get all into her head and got her thinking that Zeke out here had his pills. And now I'm like, this is the same woman who was using drugs and got beat up because she couldn't pay her drug dealer. We listening to this woman. This is what we doing? But I was like, okay. So instead of just asking him, are you on? Are you still using? Are you having pills? She asked, can I use your raise? Now I'm like, first of all, we don't be sharing raises because y'all got two different skin textures and second just don't be don't be sharing raises out here and he's like why don't you just ask me was i you know hiding my pills and things like that she's like because you know you're a dr and you're an addict and addicts tend to lie and i was like you gonna mess around and mess up your relationship with zeke because you listening to ex-wife who is still on drugs now her getting beaten up beaten up and got your place messed up because she couldn't pay her drug dealer like don't do it, michaela so, Ben and Grace, they dealing with a lot. Cal, he want to go hang out with his friends. Like, they haven't really been showing Cal a lot this season. I mean, we're on, what, episode 7? And we only seen him a sprinkle a few few times. Um, anyway, he mad because he want to go hang out with his friends. But, like, we basically in danger. We got people out here who mean us harm. I love, she out here skipping school so she can go to, the like, the, the cult-like church. She out here talking about some. She gonna you know quit school and get her GED so she can work at the cult like church you no know, a little bit more. And I'm like, I don't need all of this to sit all the way down. See, she wasn't acting like this until she started going to that church like cult. She wasn't out here that cult like church. I said church like cult, church like cult. But she wasn't acting like that until she started going to that cult like church. You know, she was you know mindful, you know respectful of her parents. Now she giving a little bit of lip, and I ain't here for that. And she talking about some. This place shows the A two era, the A two eighters. They are as miracles, and I live with two miracles, so I know what miracles are and all this other stuff. And I was like, you weren't doing this before. You wasn't talking like this before. Now you think you grown because you not going to go into the cult like church, huh? Is that what you're saying? Now, somebody, she had to humble herself and go to ask her ex that left her on the way to Jamaica for some help because she's trying to see about the changes in the DNA. And she ain't had nobody else to go to, but she got to go to the ex. Now, the ex claimed she wanted to call so many times by like, Wanting to call and calling are two different things. Like, you can say you wanted to call all you want. I don't know. You just saying that. But if you actually called, no. I didn't know that it was a woman. I thought Alex was a dude. But Alex was a woman she was in love with. And it seems like Alex had was in a relationship with somebody else. And I don't know if got cold feet, got caught. I don't know. But she doggone it. Just left Savi hanging, sitting there on the plane, thinking they going to Jamaica together. And no, and then Savi ended up, you know, disappeared for five years. And I know homegirl was up there feeling mighty guilty when Savi disappeared, thinking about some, oh, I should have went with her, but then I would have disappeared too. But I didn't know she was disappeared. I thought she was dead. Yeah, I know once she came, once Savi came back, old girl was looking like, oh, I don't even know what to do now. Now, y'all. We, now I guess I'm a very suspicious person. I am. Like, wait a minute. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't skip past something. Okay. So, Grace, Cal, and Zeke have a joint calling. And it looks like it's a club and somebody's setting, you know, the club on fire. Cal says the Save the Passioners is now. So, I was like, like, what's going on? Now, we go to this club. Now, I am a very suspicious person third generation third generation suspicious person like 
I be noticing things and I'm like, what y'all over there doing? Like somebody could be like standing and walking, like, what you over there walking? Cause ain't nothing over there. Like, what are you over there doing? My mama is the same way. Like when somebody's being too friendly, what they so nice for? What they up to? And I was like, I'm the same way. So I would have noticed that, hey, why is there more than two eight two eighters at this club? What's going on? Like, if we have a meetings, I would have been invited to this meeting and this party at this club. But since I wasn't invited, this looks a little bit suspicious. So I was like, yeah. Now, earlier, we had saw somebody using some syringes for like, I don't know what. And putting in these, in these, in these champagne bottles. And, it, and this particular night, it is free champagne. So I'm like, yeah, something don't, something don't look right. And luckily, Ben and Michaela, they come from suspicious folks too. Because they looking like something, something in here, it don't sound right, don't look right. We got too many 828 people up in this room. Something about to go down. Now, Ben had already been telling Grace, like, <clears throat> excuse me. He feels that something big is about to happen. He just don't know what and when and where. He just knows something big is about to happen. Now, we look up in the place. Somebody didn't lock the place up. And now the place is on fire. Now, all of she was in this back room dancing, having a good time. And they hear screaming. They can't get out of the room because somebody did not going to lock that door. Like, people can't get out. Michaela, she trying to help people get out. The place is filling with smoke. People is like, it's dark in there, so people can't really see all that well. Then you panicking because it's smoke in there. People get knocked over left and right. Like, Ben, Olive, and TJ, they get, like, trapped between, like, two doggo things of fire because Ben and um, um, TJ was able to, like, knock down the door where, Mc where Olive was at with all the people. So now there's, like, some fire over here and fire over there. They stuck in the middle. They don't want to go, know where to go. Michaela and Zeke, they get trapped trying to help somebody. Jared shows up out of nowhere, and I thought that was strange. I was like, first of all, how you know that they was here? I thought that was suspicious, but I was like, okay, they in the moment right now, so they not really, you know, caring. It's just like, okay, you tell say to go this way because I knew it was a door right here, but some reason the door not there right there. Like right now, where am I gonna go? All of as they trying to like make a way out. All of she didn't got snatched up by an old dude who got beat up a few episodes ago. And I was like, yep, that was him. He he was. I should have known that something was up with him, but I, I guess my suspicion, I mean, he, he got beat up, so I guess that kind of threw me off. Now, he believes a miracle is upon them, and only if a passenger is, um, only if a passenger falls upon them, among them, I guess I was like, okay, now he said they all are, um, they'll all be miracles and transcend death. But this is what he believes. Now, I don't know if this is what, you know, a cult-like church leader was preaching. But this is what he believes. Now, TJ, like, rams into the dude so Olive can break free. And I was like, okay, good, good, good. Now, that he, Ben was able to get Olive out. But, it, like, as he carried her out, it was like it was a calling. But not a calling. It was, like, some glowing going on. And he was looking like, okay, this is weird, but I'm keep on going. And then the place, like, explodes with TJ still inside. And Olive, she about to dog on and flip her wig because she was, you know, her and TJ was kind of liking each other. Even though I think she was too young. But then she, like, 16 years old. And he's, like technically like in his mid-20s now like physically he's still what because he's in college so he's what 18 19 physically maybe 20 21 i don't know his age i'm just rambling numbers at this point but regardless she's still unraged at this point and i didn't like them together but i didn't want tj to die or nothing like that that's not what i wanted while this is going to sign me, then she didn't almost die trying to, you know, test this sequence on herself. I was like, can't you just, like, draw some of your blood or whatever and whatever you injecting in yourself, injecting into the blood, see what that does? Because, oh, excuse me, and she out here injecting herself with the serum and she didn't die going to pass that on the floor. She wakes up and, like, her first thought was not, let me check my vitals, you know, make sure my heart good, look, make sure my pulse good, make sure my lungs good. No, she not going to swallow her cheek to see what didn't happen, you know, 
to her with this little formula she didn't die going to inject herself with. I was like, she's just asking to die right now. I'm like, sign baby. Wake up, baby. I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to do something else besides injecting yourself. Now, Zeke, he didn't help this lift it up this what looked like on fire being while they was inside of the where the club that got caught on fire. And his hands should be burnt. But they're frost burn. So this means like it's he, he fit to die. Because old dude last season who was up on the water for three days or however long it was. 48 hours, 72 hours. I don't know. He came back and he died the same amount of time he was gone. Now I guess this is coming upon a time long as long as Zeke was missing. And you know he died in the snow or was missing in the snow. Don't know, Whatever happens to them in the snow. So now he's getting frostbite all on his hands. Like what we going to do now? We don't know if we can you know change things or what. Now Michaela. She finds out that Jared's been asking for her files. He then went down there and lied and said they still partners to look at her files so he can help the extras out. Now she knows it's like, why is he asking for my files? What is this man up to? And I'm so wanting to believe that Jared is trying to take them down. But the more episodes I'm watch watching, I'm not really sure if that's the case anymore. I think he's just mad at Michaela because, you know, she left him even though he had a whole wife that he left. And he's mad at that. He's going to take it out on all of the 828ers. I don't know. I'm still trying to put out hope, but, like, the more I'm seeing, I'm not like it. Now, lastly, Ben finds a book, and it shows somebody carrying a lady out, like, just like he was carrying Olive out of the building. But, like... The book starts to glow and everything. And I was like, I don't know what this means. I don't know if this is a premonition. Or was this something that happened before. So I guess we're going to find this out. That was a gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, for $3.99. Make sure your notifications are on. So my beautiful face. Put up a video, you can click on it, you can like it, you can share it with your people. You can come over and be one of my people. If you are already a family member and one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell y'all people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. And this is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.